Greetings everyone. In this short video, we're going to take a look at notifications with Azure API Management. Before we do, let's go ahead and take a quick reference of our documentation. Uh, again, you always start uh, with your Azure API Management documentation. And in this case, we're under How To Guides, Customizing the Developer Experience, and then Email Notification and Templates. Uh, in this section, we'll go over uh, everything that we're going to cover today, but uh, maybe in a little more detail. <clears throat> so first things first, um, you'll notice that uh, if you remember the other day, we had sent a uh, request for a user, uh, my, my Brad the Coder at, uh, at uh, Outlook, uh, to join API Management. And if you look, this is a email template that, that I received for that where I can go and confirm my sign up um, to the portal. And we'll do that in the, in the portal video uh, later on. But th these templates are very important because they provide lots of good information via email um, to both the administrator as well as uh, the developers who are going to consume it. So let's take a look at where we configure these in the portal. So let's go to our Azure API Management instance. And on the left-hand side, under Development and Infrastructure, we have two things we're going to be looking at today, notifications and notification templates. Notifications are uh, these system-based events that you can add a, you know, an administrator email to, for example. And let's say, for example, on this one here, close account message. And notice we can't add one. So on a close account message here, uh, what we can do is we can simply add the admin or add a specific email address. So I'm going to go ahead and add the admin, which is myself, and now I will get an email when any developer closes their account, right? Um, and some of these other ones as well, you could get blind CC'd on every single message. Um, that uh, might be excessive, but it, if you're troubleshooting something, that might be worthwhile. Um, but you can see here quite a bit of other system-based kind of events there. Now on the developer side, and just uh, we have these templates, and the one that we were looking at a moment ago. So we have the welcome email, uh, right? So um, and if we go ahead and uh, I think this is I think the one we just looked at. Um, oh, nope, not not this one. I think it's this invite. Yep, this is the one. Absolutely. So this is the email that I got, I just showed you. Um, and you can see here how you can customize it. It's just standard HTML. And then you can add in some of these parameterized fields over here uh, into it. And you'll notice, I think, if, if this email that we got, uh, you'll notice uh, we have API API team. And you'll notice it says AP organization name API team. Well, where do we want to change organization name and uh, those kinds of things? So go ahead and close this template out. And then we have this email settings up here at the right. So this is where the administrator email, obviously you can set this. This was also configured when we created the instance, right? If you remember when we created the API management instance, we specified these things. This is where you can change those, right? And then this would be used uh, in those particular emails that you've seen. Um, I ho hope you get some good stuff out of the notifications here in Azure API management. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.